Hi and welcome to page 4 and 5 of this mini album tutorial. You'll be needing Madison designer paper pad, Kate's alphabet stamp set, Dots die by Penny Black and the tag die, Sweet as Honey stamp set, Spellbinders labels 20, Design Memory Craft Tropical Gelatos and their Mixed Media Journal album. Create a mask using the dots die and some frisk film. Peel off the backing and place onto your page. Take some light modelling paste and the metallic blue gelato. Rub some of the gelato onto a craft sheet. Then add some modelling paste and mix together to form a blue colour. Then spread it onto your mask. Repeat this process in opposite corners. Rub some snow cone gelato onto a palette and add some water and mix with a brush to form a watercolour base and add to your sheet of paper. Next, create a honeycomb effect using the hexagonal die from the tag set. Line up the outside edge of the die with the latest cut hexagon and repeat the process until you have a honeycombed piece of paper. Then glue the paper to the page of your journal. Then use a sentiment from the Sweet as Honey set. Rub with an anti-static bag, use some VersaFine ink and stamp your image and then emboss with clear powder. Repeat the process again using the B image stamp. Then take the Faber-Cassell brush, big brush markers and colour it. I am using dark chrome yellow, orange glaze and light cobalt turquoise to colour in the bee's bodies and also the wings. You can actually get a more graduated edge by blending in with your fingers. I've also added a flight trail and a couple of smaller bees just to finish off using the same set. For the next page take a piece of frisk film and place it on the back for protection. Take the dots die and cut another template from Frisk Film. Place this on the corner of your page. Take a dark blue gelato and add directly to a craft sheet. Add some light modelling paste and mix together. Then apply to the corners. Then take some gelato, add some water and brush onto your page. Next take a post-it note and the bigger stamp from Sweet as Honey and some yellow ink. Stamp the image onto the post-it note and then cut out so that the frame is no longer visible. Rub the piece of paper with an anti-static bag, place on your mask and re-ink the stamp. Line it up with the post-it note and press firmly. Then add some clear embossing powder. You can now use your Spellbinders die to cut the outside edge of the frame. I use washi tape to hold it down. I'm then using a Spellbinders oval die to do the inside of the frame. I then take the snow cone gelato and blend in with my finger and then with a damp cloth rub off the edge of the embossed areas. This looks a little pale so I'm going just around the edge with the dark blue gelato and lightly rubbing it in. So here you can see the finished frame. Next I take the hexagons from the previous page and place them along the bottom of the, of the page. I'm then using a black pit artist pencil 
to roughly go round the edges of each hexagon. As you can see, I've not been neat here at all. I then take my big brush marker, add some colour to my finger and just rub onto some of the hexagons to give it that aged look. I then stamp my sentiment, add some clear embossing powder. Now I'm going to stamp some bees from some scrap card using VersaFine ink. Add clear embossing powder and then colour with the big brush markers as before on the previous page. Then cut out the bees. Don't worry about the antenna. Cut them off and then use a small piece of wire. Shape it into the shape of an antenna, just like this, and then glue your bee on top. So here you can see the finished bee. Add the bees to the page and you're then finished. Thank you for watching. For further details and more inspiration, please visit my blog at candronicucardcraft.blogspot.co.uk. Please visit my YouTube account to see other videos from the pages of this album.